For chapter four, I want to make a short little video for each lesson, making sure to go over all of the examples in the lesson. Um, for section 4.1, we're on pages 136 to 137. Something else I want to do with this chapter is encourage you to make a one sheet. And I got this idea from another math teacher who basically takes a sheet of paper and it's the one sheet where all the information from that chapter goes. And you're not going to put all the notes on this one sheet, but just important information. So I'll be using this sheet throughout my videos in chapter four to show you what I write down, but I encourage you to make your own one sheet as well. And I won't collect it or grade it this chapter, but in the future I might. So why don't you try it out with me and see how it goes. So for one sheet, uh, for section 4.1, I added the vocabulary words, which are power, base, and exponent. So that's just in the corner there. And that's pretty much all I'm going to write down for 4.1. I've already looked at my examples, and I think I'm pretty good to go with uh, what's being required in 4.1. But at any rate, I think it's important to go over some examples together. And so I'm on page 136, and you can write these down in your notebook and follow along with me and see how you do. So for example one, we're just going to rewrite those expressions using exponents. So you can look at a, b, and c that are done for you. I'm going to look at 1a. 1a has three one-halves that are being multiplied. So I'm going to rewrite that as one-half to the third power. For 1b, we have five x's being multiplied. So we're going to rewrite that as x to the fifth. Okay. For 1c, we have 2c minus d. So I'm just going to write c minus d, the quantity, and then square it. And then finally, 1d. Don't let those other variables and numbers throw you off. I'm just going to combine all the f's, which is four of them. And there's 1g. And usually that 9, the coefficient goes first. So the proper way to write that would be 9f to the fourth. G. So that's example one, pretty straightforward, nothing too crazy. Example two uh, gives you some story problems, I guess, um, asking you to incorporate those expressions there. So if you take my dish towel here and erase that. And so um, you can read through on page 137, example A and B and how they rewrote those expressions using exponents. And then the problem there says, for got it, do this problem to find out. A tennis ball is dropped from the top of the building. After eight seconds, the tennis ball hits the ground. The distance in meters the ball traveled is represented by 4.9, so 4.9 times the quantity eight squared. Now, you might be tempted to multiply this first and then square it, but remember the order of operation tells us to square first. So 8 squared is 16, and 16 times 4.9 is, it's kind of hard to do this sideways, one decimal place in the problem one decimal place in the answer. Not the same answer that's in the book. So the answer in the book has 313.6 meters. I think it's important for you to see your teacher sometimes struggle uh, with problems because uh, I do get stuck once in a while. So I'm not sure. Tennis ball is dropped from the building. After eight seconds, the tennis ball hits the ground. Um, how far did the ball drop? 4.9 times, oh, maybe you already caught my eye. 8 squared is not 16. I broke my number one rule when I tell students about exponents. You don't multiply the number by the exponent. So there you have it. I even make those errors. So 64 times 4.9, let's rework that out. Three thirteen point six, and we're going to label that with meters. Okay, 
Finally, example three has you evaluating expressions again, and we've been doing that since chapter one, so we're going to continue to practice that skill and substitute those values in and um, work with integers and rational numbers. So you can look through example three, but I will do the three A, B, and C at the bottom. So three A is 10 plus B squared. So 10 plus B squared. Remember, this is an algebraic expression because it contains variables and operations, and it may contain numbers. And we're going to evaluate it based on what b is. b is negative 2. So we're going to do 10 plus negative 2 squared. Negative 2 squared is 4. 10 plus 4 is 14. That's 3a. 3b is a plus b. Hopefully you can read sideways there. a plus b, the quantity cubed. And so a is 5. And b is negative 2. And so we have 5 plus negative 2, which is 3. 3 cubed is 27. And for letter C, we're going to be set. For 3C, we have 2 minus C squared, and C is equal to 3 fourths. So we're going to square 3 fourths by taking 3 times 3 and 4 times 4 to get 9 sixteenths. So we have 2 minus 9 sixteenths, which is equal to 1 and 7 sixteenths. Hopefully those are enough examples to get you started on section 4.1 and you'll be able to get through your homework and check it and do the self-check and make sure you check back in when you start lesson 4.2 to go over a few example problems before you get started. Thanks.